and throughout the liberation struggle, for its own PF, the enemy was now Zapu, not Swing, not Alelu. But the philosopher of liberation believed in liberation and did not see that. Point number six. No country can live by slogans, passing down with this, passing with that. When we are ruling, you should never say pass to anyone. That's a philosopher of liberation talking. That's his understanding. If Ukomo was allowed to lead Zimbabwe, this is the kind of leadership we were going to get and which we lost. Satolo pass. Abukulunyalo to Matra pass me mandu. Pass. Pass. That's what Ukomo was against. And whenever there's pass, 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 Kutua pass into a bay. But we had to go to the president and take him. We had to go to the president and take him. We had to go to the president and take him. We had to go to the president and take him. We had to go to the president the and the 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 past ideology has come, has become a policy in the country. And even the political opposition has reproduced it. Uh, it is a loss for Zimbabwe that Nkomo, through force and fraud, was not allowed to nationalize such values as they are now. Now, we put on Jana, 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 we put on Point number seven. Um, this is very tricky. By Monday, the 15th uh, February 1982, the two properties owned by the Trump, the only properties on which arms were found, together with properties owned by Zappu and those owned by companies whose members were Zappu, including properties owned by me and my family, were confiscated under the Notorious Unlawful Organization Act, which was enacted by secular regimes to suppress liberation organizations. In Zappu, all its properties, properties, they was confiscated. Recently, there was a letter that circulated where Uncom was writing to Mnangapa saying, Can we have our properties? Those properties have not been replaced. Genocide does not destroy bodies of people, it also displaces and dispossesses them. And it is continuing to happen now. To punish political opponents by dispossessing and displacing them is a genocidal Zanpia fabric that continues today. Descending political activists. And ZANPF members themselves said their properties seized. No come away from Panagamadu Musipo, as Tanga, the only blood here, so that blast. They are using a medical technical decision. The Lavavata Tela and Masu Matu was said to them, Lav Takilitas of the Lavi. How much you know, Sister Sylvester? Point number eight. <coughs> Meanwhile, former Zipka commanders were summoned by the army command. This was after the integration. When the army's sunlight looked like and uh, the Rhodesian forces came together, when they were now in the barracks. In the rest of the world. Meanwhile, former secret commanders were summoned by the army command. At your instruction, this is a letter that um, Joshua Pomo wrote to Robert Mutani. Meanwhile, former secret commanders were summoned by the army command. At your instruction, for questioning and investigation. This was done, it is said, 
by the military police and or the CIO. Later, ordinary former Zipra men, irrespective of rank, were also taken for investigation. Information has it that during these investigations, there was a lot of beatings and torture of all types. That a number of these young people were killed and others named. These actions were followed by desertions and defections from the National Army, not only by former Zipra combatants, but also by former Zanga combatants. Yeah. In Zipra, it actually is called Sensuma Parax Vakwa Wishal, and Sensi Atatole Siabula. And some of these people that eventually became dissidents are people who were running away with their lives. Uh, Professor Myerson recently wrote a book about Solomon in Judah. He confirms that in Zanla itself, there were 3,000 dissidents of his own. Zanla cutters that were told not to go to assembly points with their guns so that they will assist Zanla campaigning for the election. So the first dissidents were Zanla. However, Zipra actually said that they were going to go to that's what created dissidents. The super zamtis is the creator of the world. The apartheid regime. So if you have to say, I'm to marry, if you forget to get your dissidents, but he created those dissidents. First and foremost. A man, I have sugar, who am in the CIA, who is a man, 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 Lapana get the escort. I can tell you that. Um, Uba was a headmaster. What figure man by himself age? He forget just after the day. But that matters. He was doing a certain things that don't forget. He's in Luzon. Uba was a headmaster in Kunis. Uba was a headmaster in Kunis. Uba was a headmaster I think we so what they were doing there, once they passed by, you're supposed to run. We are reporter, then you are cleared. If you don't report, there was a teacher out of Mulu, who said, go to the rest of the camp. We are reporting to the magistrate. I teach Mulu, who is 20-something and then Ulo Chatai no say we get up on another reporter. Ulo Chatai, I'm not the one that we will have time, but we will see you now. But now, later, in the Ulo Chatai, no, Omun. Now when I look back, it confirms that when they were not disgraced, that is on the record. Um, many of us remain unaware that the so-called dissidents that people forget committed the Kogura on the genocide pretending to pursue were former Zipra cutters that had been forced to desert the National Army and Gomo had become too weak and powerless to protect them. Point number nine. Let me have read the chain. This is a, a letter that Gomo wrote to Mugabe. I can now see that your insistence on establishing assembly camps in Bulawayo and Harare, and your ministers in Ghana and others coming to Bulawayo to make inflammatory statements which sparked off the first Kutumbani incident 
was all part of a plan and strategy to destabilize the country, especially the Western province of Materiality, so that you could use incidents there as an excuse for using military action to crush me and my party. Like I said, Mugabe and his uh, missionary wanted a one party state, and they were going to get it by any means necessary. So even those incidents are we in Dumbane, Kabani Samazanda, Namazi, Kakuma, and the police. I feel it was a pet I was a two pairs to stabilization so that Hungary could get an excuse to use the army to crash Zapu and Zipra. And in the process, commit a major genocide that has been made in the world. In pursuit of the one part state and life presidents of Hungary, uh, Zambia fled by Hungary provoked conflict and instability. They created ground for the genocide that finally liquidated Zapu. Point number 10. Still the letter that Ngo wrote to him. We tell him that I'm planning to send a letter to Ngo who to achieve. In retrospect, sorry. In retrospect, I now believe that I and Zap were deceived and cheated by you and your party when you talked of unity, reconciliation, peace, and security. I now honestly and sincerely believe that when you invited us to take part in your government, you believe that we would reject your offer and set ourselves up in strong opposition to you, and then by that belt us disgruntled rejected the offer. Years of Joseph of Liberation, realizing later that he was cheated. Listen, young philosophers, especially philosophers of liberation, who see nothing but light at the end of the tunnel. Not a train coming to crush us. See things in this trust that. Jen and Tom, you love me, sister, and I was a good one. So when I get home, that would carry a lot of people with cheaters, fraudsters, and killers who go knew many decades back, but kept some tragic faith that things would change. A good politician does not do such. Go on, let the Machiavellian touch that is necessary to politics. Why are you mega food for your politics? Which now I'm a police. I'm truly a Jason Kawongo Foundation. Now, what is such? Point number 11. It is obvious to me why you decided to form the people to get outside the structure and command of the National Army so that you may use it as a party and try to advocate for eliminating and liquidating it as you have. Many times said, those who choose to destroy your wealth crash. As a matter of fact, when I questioned the formation of the people to get outside the Zimbabwe National Army without consultation, you angrily replied and said, who are you to be consulted? This brigade, you said, has been formed to crush those who try to support my government. And if you attempt that, they will crush you too. This is Mugabe telling you all. And this fifth brigade was planned far early in 1979, before the dissidents existed. So there was a long term and a durable plan to do this. The Kogura genocide was not accidental, but was a planned and calculated. The plans and calculations were seen by Nkomo long after he had disarmed Zipra and handed power to tribalistic genocides. The Cubans, Russians, and the Angolans had warned Komo, even Chief Kaiser, but all were ignored. Komo began to take advice from some British and American diplomats and Julius Nyerere, who had extreme contempt, hatred, and fear of Joshua Komo. Nyerere feared and hated Komo with his soul. And Komo says it more than four times in this book. Whenever I was around, Nyerere was not comfortable. And Nyerere did a lot to support the genocide against the Kalayamane. The people who were the Right. Uh, 
Point number 12. I said the paper, like, you know, speedy doctrine and figure in the table. This is Bobo again. One of the most dreadful and shaming aspects of our independence, which is difficult to defend, is that we have taken methods and men used to suppress, oppress, torture, and kill our people and tried to use them to consolidate independence. You cannot take weapons, methods, and people designed to defend colonial fascism and try to use them to defend the people. It is just not possible. Today in Zimbabwe, the same torturers that Smith used against the people are back in business defending a people's government. They must smile to themselves when they are ordered to continue their torture of patriots by an independent government. You know it. About General Rawls, Kendall Dyke, and many others. You can be invited there. We pretended that it's reconciliation, but you wanted their torture methods and their skills because you didn't want to deal with people. Zip that example. And no comments as you would. I want to go to school and I'm going to go to school. I'm going to go to school. One of the commanders of the was Kenya Dyke. Who can one can you do colonize and what would you do the power and you want to do that? I'm starting to say that Kukura won't be doing in the everything. The same people made of vision, security, uh, uh, infrastructure, where you go, who came in Uzi, but in Uzi, who came in Uzi, who came in Uzi, who came in Uzi, but guys, the way you're treating us in prison, now, one of the least observed tragedies of Zimbabwe in history is how Zambia PF and Gary quickly became native colonialists. They even took over the Rodigian security an insecurity missionary in the name of reconciliation and used it against the government's up. Como, however, so they've been the last person to be shocked or surprised by this. Point number 13, second to last. The real victims of uh, this climate of fear are the people themselves. How can the people get on with the vital task of building the nation when all around them they feel this insecurity and fear? At any moment, they know that this missionary of fear and repression may be turned against them. The people of Mureo may not yet have felt the violence of the 50th Brigade, but they have already heard the stories. In their faces is the fear that one day this party army may be turned against them. It is certain that some Zan PF members fear that the 50th Brigade may be turned against Zan, and that it may even turn against its creators. Is this the climate of confident, free, proud, and independent people and government? You do not teach young people to be contemptuous of human life and expect them to respect laws. <laughs> Joshua Ngomo predicted the coup of 2017. Here, he predicted that Kukura will move to national level. There are many now in national level that they've been filled with political violence. Some of them that were key perpetrators of the Kukura movement. And true to Gomo's word, they will not respect Mugabe at the end of his life. And now they want to capture Amatamba. Why are you saying that? I don't know why Nangamba is obsessed with Amatamba. Gomo is a liberation philosopher, was prophetic. He warned Mugabe about the coup and observed that the other parts of Zimbabwe and the Zanipi are going to experience political violence in the future. So, who was prophetic and philosophically miserable? Don't to understand the 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 he only ignored all the evidence. Another philosopher of liberation, Kenneth Kaunda, was impressed of seeing a tweet in a panel in Harry. Right, uh, point number 14. Despite the risk I agreed to talk to despite the risk I agreed to talk to Smith face to face in absolute secrecy. This was 1970. Despite the risk, I agreed to talk to Smith face to face. I was a man who put him down as a good man, Smith, the panel in the In politics, in absolute secrecy, we 
met in State House, Lusaka, as the guest of Kenneth Gowan. I found Smith a tired man, a battered man. He told me he wanted to surrender power, to hand the whole thing over. I am convinced he knew the game was up, that the time had come to concede defeat. But I could not on my own accept his offer. I had to bring in Robert Lugar, <laughs> my colleague, <laughs> my colleague in the Patriotic Front. It was to the Patriotic Front that power must be surrendered, and not Joshua Pomo or Sarah. <laughs> it was clear what if that opportunity had been given to Mugabe, he was not even going to think about bringing him home. That's why you know, I'm saying this is a philosopher of liberation who believes in good and greatness, honesty and fair play. Then I said, see your quality. He could have gone to the police. There is a reason why Smith was handing over power to Uko. Niyabuyo watches. Amazi Kabaha yaz. Okay, let me comment on this statement. Yes, he was Uko being a philosopher and a prophet, not a politician. <coughs> Yet he should have known that Uko wanted him dead. He only ignored all the warnings. Another philosopher of liberation, Kenneth Kaone, was impressed by this. And Smith was disgusted by Uko. <laughs> Yes, it was disgusted. And all that. Could I say a story that is written? Uh, when they were fighting this liberation struggle, there were many things that had been done traditionally. Uh, I think it's Patrick Gomai who wrote that the narrative. Uh, there was this traditional ritualist in Mashonali who knew Nkomo as a leader and all that. Who knew Nkomo as a leader and all that? I think it's Patrice Gomai who wrote that.
Oh, my goodness, I was all presumed and I'm eating or put my account down. Convince Uncle Mongoti a very fast car, see that as a secret. Remember that is to do the child, child born against the account. With all this machinery and the ready trained uh, military personnel, Como took, took all those takers or other pass or I end up over to Amar, which is what he said, to the water scene, to do my music that I really fancy. That's where Kukura would begin. What Oputin had done at the time of Putin, I think, was a KGB officer. They had given is it a military infrastructure that was going to be hit with British British intelligence picked it. That's why they and the other people ran to Kaunda to preempt his zero point strategy. Being a philosopher of liberation, believing in talk, not in war, or we are told to which are my commanders, I'm a general, rather than the leader of the party. Just tools, sir. What tactics? Um, I want to conclude with my principal allegation. My allegation is that Joshua Ngabugo Nyongo Lobomo was a great philosopher of liberation, a statesman, and a failed politician and a tragic soldier. I insist that Ngabugo was a great man that trusted his enemies more than his friends. From him, we can learn today what it is to live with love and sacrifice. And that in fighting for the liberation of Zimbabwe from the genocide of native colonialists that are misruling the country, we must be good politicians and capable soldiers. The great successes and great failures of Joshua Mbomo must be the Bible of our present struggle. <laughs> Uh, there was a, a professor in the Democratic Republic of Congo called Ernest Wamba Diawamba. Was uh, studying university one day, was from our party AK, was a drama. In general, it's a chasela u umokuti se 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 ibanya mulege. And there was an outcry, an outcry among other scholars that this conference would get lost. <laughs> Who's going to teach? Our kids, when we are now getting an AK 47, what I'm doing is putting books down and fighting because I don't want to allow Africa to fall into the hands of sorcerers. If anyone wants to see a country that is falling into the hands of the sorcerers, should go to this country that we are talking about. Fanawan, <laughs> 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 <laughs>